Hello everyone, in today's video I am going to show you how to rip a Blu-ray disc to your computer. This is great, so in cases that your disc gets broken, you still have a virtual copy of your physical disc. It also allows you to apply it to streaming platforms such as Plex, so that way you can stream your own videos whenever you're on the go or just make it easier when you're at your house instead of having to fumble through DVDs you just go to your Plex app or any other app that you might have where you can stream your own content. First as far as hardware you're going to need an optical drive that can read and write Blu-ray so as far as operating systems this works on both Windows 10, Windows 11 as well as Mac OS Something, some free software that you can download would be Make MKV, and I've got a beta version right here, and it has been a great product for me. You can use this to read and rip Blu-ray, and then there's a second software that you don't have to have, but it comes in handy, and that is Handbrake. This is also a free product that I use, and. Handbrake is great for two for multiple things actually. Um, one of which is when you finish up with Make MKV, your Blu-ray is a very large file. I've had Blu-rays that were close to 40 gigs. They were 36, 37, 38 gigs in size, which takes up a ton of hard drive space. So if you use Handbrake once you are done with MKV then this will compress the file and get it under 10 gigs in most cases. Also if you have a DVD all you need is Handbrake. So this here is a great product for both Blu-ray and DVD. So let's go ahead and get started. I just inserted a Blu-ray into my computer here and I'm going to let Make MKV go ahead and read it. So once it's read, you'll see your disk information down here. Let's go ahead and click on this icon, and it will start decrypting and reading the device. Okay, so once it's read, you'll get a ton of these little um, chapters and everything. You can decide different clips, like what you'll see here is I've change it to where if anything is under 540 seconds it'll skip it that's the minimum length and I do that for movies so that way I don't get a bunch of just like title chapters in there so what you'll want to do is go in here and deselect all of these and you'll want to find the correct title basically and one of the best ways to do that is find the duration you'll see that this is the two hours and 32 minutes and 35 seconds is the correct duration for this movie if you haven't seen it it's a really good movie and so once you found that you'll go ahead and check it now you can take this a step further drop it down and you can actually start mess with your subtitles if you know different English French Spanish uh, and even your surround sound and stereo and, and English and Spanish and French you might think that'll save space, but they're so small that even though you know this 34.2 gigs will remain 34.0, 34.1, at best 33.9. So I'm just going to leave everything there. And then I've already got my output folder. So I'm going to click this Make MKV icon. It's going to ask me if I want to make the folder for the Blu-ray. We're going to click Yes. Now, depending on your computer, this process takes, it could take um, anywhere from 15 minutes to a couple of hours. With my computer, it typically takes about 20 to 25 minutes. So I will come back when this is done and show you the next step. So as you can see that this has completed for ripping this Blu-ray. And again, we did this title, and here's your title information, the movie name, duration, chapters, um, and even the file name. And we had picked this first title, which was 34.2 gigs. And then in File Explorer, you can see here that the folder was created for the movie. 
and if we open it and we see that here's the title that matches the file name now I'm going to go ahead and rename this to the correct title remove that underscore there we go all right so now uh, we're going to look at the finer details and you'll see the size of the movie the length and all of that the size grew just a little bit as you can see the movie is working just fine audio works video works we're going to exit out here so now we're going to open up handbrake and we are going to compress this video into a smaller file just to save some space so open it up and then source selection instead of picking a cd we're going to do a folder or batch scan you can also do just file as well but since there's no CD in there or Blu-ray or DVD in the optical drive you don't see that source so again we're going to click folder and we're going to click select the Ford versus Ferrari folder because that's the movie title it loaded it up pretty quickly there so what I do with all my videos is a pretty straightforward um, rip so to speak or conversion there's a lot of options that you have as you can tell summary dimensions filters video audio subtitles chapters so on and so forth but what we're going to do is make it pretty straightforward and simple so first what i do is uh, select the correct title if you have uh, multiple videos or if you're doing tv shows you'll have multiple chapters if you uh, when you pull a dvd straight in here that'll have multiple chapters as well so you select the correct chapter which we, or title we only have one and then as far as the presets I always go to super high quality 1080p 30 surround it's the best option here for this version we don't have to worry about web or anything like that but these are other options that you have for youtube and other um, services online so again you can do uh, subtitles which I'm not going to worry about for this movie here so we've got the title we got the, uh, the quality and now we need to adjust the movie title we've got the correct location that we're saving it to the M drive movies folder now we just need to take the dash one off and there's the correct movie title so from here we're just um, going to start in code if you have multiple selections that you're making you can do add to queue and then instead of start in code it'll be start queue see how it changed when i clicked add to queue and it shows queue one and you can see everything that's in queue which just this one movie and then start queue so we always do a double check the title the location the quality and now it's time to start queue or start in code on my computer um, when i rip a blu-ray it usually once the blu-ray is done handbrake usually takes somewhere between two and a half or about two and a half hours basically um, in the bottom right corner you can see my stats on my computer like the specs windows 11 the processor the ram operating or the hard drive um, so it takes about two and a half to three three hours as I've put here is three hours so I'll come back when this is completed okay so that took about two and a half hours for handbrake to go ahead and convert that blu-ray over to a smaller m4v file it was an mkv which again in this folder here that I need uh, for Blu-rays that I convert. You see Ford versus Ferrari here, and you see the size of the file. Um, and then you come over here to where I actually have all my converted movies. You can see it was an MKV, and now it's an M4V, and the size is a lot smaller now. Instead of 35 and a half gigs, you've got eight and a half gigs. So really compressed it. However, the quality, it's not any worse. It's actually still pretty good quality here. The shell looks fine. Baked through there. You can see that the quality was just fine. So that's how you convert a physical Blu-ray to a digital movie. Yeah, that's, you take, make MKV, you put your Blu-ray in your optical drive, you, rip it 
And then you go through with handbrake and you can convert it. Again, handbrake is optional, but it definitely does help save disk space from this larger file to a much smaller file. And so once I get that done and I double check it, I just go ahead and delete that and free up some disk space. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.